Michelle Barchackley. I am from Collinsville, Illinois, uh, outside, and I play for Novara. Spring of 2012, I went to Puerto Rico right away and took a semester off of school. And I did not like my experience in Puerto Rico. And I was like, this is what professional volleyball is. Like, I really don't want to do it. And graduated in 2012 and was like, done playing volleyball. I was like, no way, I'm over it. And we were engaged at the time, so I was like, so over it. And then um, I went to UC Irvine with the men's team, and um, I was there and as an assistant coach, and I loved it. It was so much fun. And then we won the national championship at Irvine. And um, then I really missed playing volleyball. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna play volleyball. And I had a tryout <laughs> in Germany and like the weirdest, most strange situation that I have ever been a part of. And went back and played in Vilsiburg. I was there two months without a contract and then decided that I was going to stick with it a little bit and just play it by ear and then I spent two years in Germany before being asked to come to the national team. You give up a lot of things. Um, going to weddings and Tori is taking her honeymoon, <laughs> like could barely take her honeymoon. It's just like a lot of like family and friends. My first year in Vilseberg, we get there and I, we don't have cars, so they're like, we're gonna take everyone to the Volkswagen factory, which was like a seven hour bus ride. And then you're gonna pick up your cars and we're gonna drive them back home. And they are manual cars. And I have never driven a manual car in my entire life. And I was panicking and I was like, there is no way like let alone drive it down the street like seven hours on the autostrada which is like i mean in germany the autobahn which is like unlimited speed limit and i was like oh my goodness this is not gonna go well and then finally once they delivered my car they put stickers on the side of it with my face is on the side of the car like just photo shoot like makeup everything on the side of the car and i was like Oh no. And I was literally killing the car every 30 seconds in the middle of this town with my face all over the car. And it was <laughs> extremely traumatizing. <laughs> but now I can drive a manual, so <laughs> that's all you need. <laughs> the dinner times, especially in Italy, are like 9 p.m., 9.30. That's my bedtime. I, can I can't go out that late. <laughs> um, going outside with wet hair is a Big no-no, do not do that. <laughs> um, yeah, I think there's a lot of like little culture things that just like are so different and it's not like it's necessarily wrong, but it makes you tick a little bit that it's just like, please let me live my life. Like I've done this for a while. <laughs> Living overseas, I have definitely become more patient, which I didn't think was even possible because I thought I was like, a pretty patient person to begin with but now like nothing really bothers me it's just like all right this is how we're gonna do it <laughs> and we're here for three hours <laughs> if you're starting your volleyball career have fun it's such a fun sport and it's really something special